Patriots kicker Justin Rohrwasser. That's been the question at Patriots training camp. I'm Sierra Goodwill here with Evan Lazar. We reported earlier this week about Rohrwasser's inability to make consistent field goals. And then he's just MIA from practice. Where is he and why is he missing? Well, I do want to reiterate that he is somewhere in the facility. He's not injured. He doesn't yeah. left the team. He's just not kicking in front of the media right now. He's not on the lower field either. Some, for the, this practice, at least, I didn't see him down there. So my guess is, is that he's been kicking in the stadium this entire time. So I think it's an interesting question, though, because on Monday he went three for five, as you mentioned, Sierra. He doinked one off the left upright that ended up going through the uprights for a good field goal. So he really could have been two for five. And then since that point, we haven't seen him. So I think the Patriots are really hiding him right now from the media. They don't want to hurt his confidence, I don't think, by putting him out in front of all of us and then reading the tweets or reading the reports or watching the videos of all of us saying that he's inconsistent and that he's terrible and all this kind of stuff. Now, I'm just kidding. But I think the biggest thing with Rohrwasser is his confidence. Any kicker, you don't want their confidence shaken. So for now, he's kicking behind closed doors. But at some point, we all know that he's going to be out there at 1 o'clock on Sunday in front of the whole world to see, and that pressure is going to mount. So I do expect to see him kick again in training camp in front of everybody at some point. The question is just when, and it hasn't been recently. And it was surprising before training camp began that the Patriots were bringing in zero competition for Justin Rohrwasser at kicker. Now to see that he hasn't really been performing up to their standards, is it time for them to bring in another kicker? The other thing, too, yeah, it's a great question because the other thing is, too, that we asked Bill Belichick and special teams coordinator Cam Accord about Rohrwasser, and they deflected the question. They kind of made it about all the rookies, and they're all in the same boat, and they're all struggling and all kind of being, you know, trying to find that consistency. The difference is, is that we see Kyle Duggar, we see Dalton Keene and Devin Asiasi and Josh UJ out there every single day at practice, but we don't see Rohrwasser. The big problem with bringing in a veteran kicker, of course, is what I mentioned earlier, is confidence. You start to bring in a Steven Guskowski, for example, you bring him back and you have the two, competi- the two competing. Now, all of a sudden, you're worried about kind of hurting the guy's confidence in Rohrwasser for good, you know, permanent damage to his his, uh, his confidence. So I think that's the biggest question is, is do you ride with him for now and try to get him to work through obviously the issues that he is having or do you just kind of cut bait at this point in time and you go with a more confident kicker or a guy that's a little bit more consistent and more pro ready but with Rohrwasser I think that there could be some gamesmanship going on too maybe the Patriots don't want us to say oh he's got a huge leg or you know something situational like that where we say oh he made from 55 yards and now teams know that that's sort of his range so maybe they're hiding his range a little bit too on top of the fact that he wasn't so good on Monday. Well, for all of our Patriots training camp insight and coverage, find it on our website at clnsmedia.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Patriots Press Pass. Patriots Training Camp Central is brought to you by Manscaped. Get 20% off and free shipping using the code MAX20 at manscaped.com. Take your grooming game to the next level.